has found, I think, an insanely good buffet. Insanely good that I need to show you. So you guys know I like Pan-Asian food, and I've not even heard of this place. What's it called? Bon Pan-Asian Buffet. Bon Pan-Asian Buffet. So three of the words, I know exactly what they mean. Pan-Asian Buffet. We're gonna go there. I don't know anything about it, to be fair. She just looked at it. Also, this is filmed off on your camera. Look, it's following me around. How cool is this? This is so cool. So we're gonna go there now. I think we're kind of there. I don't even know the location, to be honest. I'm being kind of surprised. We'll uh, get to know this buffet together, guys. So we're gonna look at it. All I know is it's Pan-Asian. Never been to a Pan-Asian Buffet. Never heard of this place. Stick with the video, guys. I think you might be in for a little bit of a surprise. And I'm Passenger Princess. Again. Which is again, which is definitely different for me, but I like it. Yeah. As buffet goes, the uh, pricing is actually okay. During the week, fifteen quid. That's not actually that bad. It looks very bougie in here. I love the the look of this place. I'm gonna start with chips. I cannot help myself. Let's get some sauté chicken. Glad the sauté is one of my favorite things to eat. Phoebe has clocked the dessert already. Guys, what are we going for? Are we gonna go for this? Stir fried chicken or egg fried rice. Show me, you'll know what I'm gonna pick. I give three, two, one. <laughs> three favorite things, Chinese chicken curry. This is so lit, this place. Guys, there is actually so much more to show you because this is plate number one. I am blown away by the variety here. The red curry, we're getting that. The chicken and black bean, we're getting that. The dessert, Sophie was excited for dessert, right? I'm so excited. Go try the chicken curry. Chicken curry is lovely. You know what kind of chicken curry? I'm so impressed so far. And the price is fantastic. As far as the buffet goes, the pricing is actually great. So chicken satay, I might go get some satay sauce to put with that. The chicken curry is as good as like a, a good Chinese takeaway, I think. One thing they could add is salt and pepper chips. Mm. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smash this plate because I cannot wait to show you plate two because there's some stuff there that oh, this place is lit so far. If you like, I've, I've, I've looked for a Chinese buffet that's halal for a very long time. But to find one, your boy is happy. You know what, I'm going for plate two right now. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna eat this first. <laughs> I think we can order drinks at the bar as well. You do have to go to the bar to get your drinks. Now the food is paid at the end, but the drinks are paid when you order them. So come in, see it, go to get my food, and then I have to go to the bar to get a drink. Never sure about sauté, uh, sweet and sour, so that's what I'm having. <laughs> I love Thai red. Sophie, take tips, yeah? I love Thai red. I it's... made you Thai green before. Did you? Because I'm not someone else. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That looks like Thai pink. Look, how cool is this? I want to show you something, right? I do this, right? And look. I'm just saying, guys, pretty cool. To Malaysia and get some of this. Is the actual roast duck is halal, which is so hard to find halal. Look, you see the sign there? Halal. Look, more like this Asian section. It does look a bit strange, but I think they put butter on it. The chicken tikka. South Asian food does leave a little bit to be desired, but I don't think it's their specialty. So the fact that they have it, I think it's inclusive and cool, but it's probably not. I don't mean tend to get curves that buffet, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the difference, look at Sophie's plate. This, this, and this. It's because I don't let her eat. I don't let her eat. so much hate for that. I know, they're, they're not gonna know I'm joking. Rip him to shreds. Or am I? Do you think they have like a kid's section? Which is probably not for me, but to be fair, I love a good fish cake. You know, you've got like curry samosa, which is down here. You've got some battered chicken fillet, some chicken popcorn, that kind of stuff. The audio's not great here because I don't have my mic, guys. I'm very sorry. So they may or may not be able to hear you. Thoughts on the buffet so far? Mm. I'm loving it. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive dessert guy, but I think you are. So, so if you are saying it's a good dessert section, then you know what more. You know, you, your opinion holds more weight than mine because. I'll probably have a couple of bits just to show you guys for the video. Yeah, the Thai red good. curries levels. Thai red curry is unreal. We can go Thai red curry. Oh, what is that? Chicken jar crazy. Chicken jar I don't really get curry from buffets ever. That can't be nice. Hmm, nice. Maybe with the naan. That'd be really good. Oh, naan's good. This is a great old buffet, I have to say. Guys, I'm telling you, I think if you came here at lunchtime, I mean, this is still a good deal, right? It's like 20 quid or whatever. If you came here at lunchtime and they had half those dishes, when I go to a takeaway, I spend £10 on chicken curry, rice and chips anyway. That's, a, that's like £12, it's a steal. I mean, nowhere affiliates this, guys. 
Let me make that clear. I'm just a food reviewer. So I'm telling you that's, and I like this kind of food. Yeah, I'm just a food reviewer. I'm telling you, 10 10, that's actually a great deal, and the food is good. This is the uh, the ajar, which is fantastic according to Sophie. I've not had it. This was the jar frazi that I had. You can see she's polished it off, so it's, it's good food, man. I do think I'm ready for plate three. I may get some dessert. And do you know what I always get for dessert? This is really weird. Popper doms and prawn crackers. I don't know They're why. Put right. gum, but I love it. I yeah, actually love it. So we're gonna get that. Oh man. Do you stay around to the end guys? I want to give you a holistic view of the entire place. And if you're new here guys, I do publish food content. I'm trying to publish every single day. Please help me with that task by hitting subscribe because if I know you guys like the content, it really motivates me. So yeah. You don't have to add this in, but I'll, uh, this this is dessert for me. I like crisps, guys. Oh, crumble! Oh, I'm a happy guy. I'm going to show you guys some of the desserts, even though I'm not going to get. Oh, eaten mess! I'm going to have to get eaten mess. Actually, I do love eating mess. Here. Uh, I will. Uh, no, no, no jelly for me, thank you. Strawberries. Oopsie. Dawned on me, we've missed an entire section that we're going to check out. This is cool. So, you've got like some sashimi, uh, crab salad, some cheese. I imagine you make your own salads here, which is cool. But yeah, this is a section that we missed completely. It's like a live cooking station, but I don't know if there's some haram food there. Well, this video, I'm quite full. I don't know if they have they mixed the haram and halal food, so I don't want to take the risk. I could ask. But I'm full, so I don't want it. So if you come in here, I would suggest you kind of you check. Looking at it, it's actually all halal. Nice to see. Like I said, I checked and actually it's all halal. There's actually no pork there. The meats and the fish they got is actually all halal. Do you fancy the teppanyaki? I'm I'm full. I am full. Sorry guys. Like the video anyway. I had a mum's shepherd pie earlier, so I'm very full. So it is what it is. But I would I would get this, looks good. So it's just saying. This is the right mix up of stuff because we've got my dessert, which I will definitely move on to. But then I wanted to get the pizza and sweet potato chips to give you guys a holistic view of the place. You know, it's one of those kind of situations. Actually, I think you're rubbing off on me a little bit because I'm not a dessert guy. I kind of fancy the dessert today. Pizza nice. Do you like a bite before you have your sweet food? Just to see what it's like. You love pizza. Guys, this is the review of the margarita pizza. Because I can tell the audio is bad this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what she says. We want a very few words though. Yummy, that's that's all you're getting, yummy. Very nice, isn't it? This is kind of the dessert plate Sophie has. She's got a really good selection, actually. He declares it really good. And then my plate is very much kind of poppadom heavy. And, and some apple crumble, to be fair. So, they've also got, they've got banana custard here, which I've never had. Feels pretty self-explanatory, though. The apple crumble's nice. Let's go, okay. I'm gonna show you the cake first. This is the cake, with the chocolate on. Hmm, <laughs> it's quite nice. I'm not a chocolate guy though. I'm not, a, but he said with a bunch of chocolate strawberries. It's because they're, they're, they're more strawberry than chocolate. Wait till you see the video. That's drowned in chocolate. Mm. Do you know what? They're so good. Drop some chocolate strawberries. They're actually so good. One thing is mad here, right? Most of the time at buffet, they never have fresh strawberries because they're from yesterday or the day before. Here, they look, they look bulbous. They were bright red, they were big, like, you know, they look like big, red, fresh strawberries. The ones you get from, like, Costco. The teppanyaki station, I was worried about cross-contamination, but it turns out they just don't have any pork there. So, all the other meats there are halal, so they had beef, chicken, they had octopus, and I think they had shrimp. I couldn't help myself, I had to get another plate. I just, I couldn't help it. Sophie's got some more dessert, which we'll try. She's got that cake again that she really likes, but do you know what, the food's actually really good. I know it's, it's more like pink Thai curry, not red, Thai red, but it's, it's very nice. I know it's not red enough. It tastes good though. That's what matters, how it tastes. Some creme brulee. You know that TikTok thing that we've got like 20 million likes, which is strawberries and chocolate? <laughs> so that was Bon Pan Asian Buffet. Kind of blown away actually. A big surprise. Didn't know this actually existed. So if you told me about it, I love Chinese food. They've got Thai food, it's Pan-Asian, right? So food from that region, they got 
kind of Pakistani food as well. Pricing, I think, very good. If you go lunchtime, Monday to Friday, it's $14.99. These days, for a buffet, that's very reasonable. They've got some really good food, like the um, creme brulee. Yeah. That was like restaurant quality. You don't really see that in buffets, so genuinely uh, amazing. I'm just going to move Sophie's finger away from the mic, because you probably didn't hear any of that. <laughs> Forgot to tell her about that. It's the first time I'm using it. Um, I don't know why she's giving me a phone in response to that. Is that like punishment? So, no, I'm going to hold Is that hold one of those, like, I made a mistake, take my phone. So, <laughs> that's mine no. now. If anyone wants to look, buying an iPhone 15, let me it's know. 15 Pro Max. 15 Pro Max, let me know I'm selling it, because I don't need it. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're new here, I publish food content every single day. So, make sure you do hit subscribe. I do loads and loads of really fun content. Check out my latest vlog, actually, for E that didn't eat vlog. Look at that, too. That takes me all the way to the end of my video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in the next one, guys. Bye 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 bye.